Do you have chest pain? Do you know that chest pain can be one of the symptoms for lung cancer? We all very well know that lung cancer is the leading cause of death worldwide and spreading like a wildfire. So basically, if a patient presents to us even with chest pain or has sputum which has blood with cuff or has breathlessness or has been a smoker, can have lung cancer. So basically, when these patients come to us with this kind of a history, the first thing what strikes in our mind is a possibility of lung cancer. The usual causes of lung cancer are smoking, what a normal person or a normal individual has. Or you're working in a factory which is exposed, which has those kinds of chemical exposure can cause lung cancer. You have indoor pollution, you have outdoor pollution. The newer generation which is smoking all types of different types of cigarettes or e-cigarettes or doing vaping are also as equally as high risk to get lung cancer as compared to the other patients. You sometimes have a genetic predisposition also. Once the patient comes to us, you can have a simple radiological test which can detect that you have lung cancer. We have lung cancer screening programs at Max Dehradun. We even do a low dose CT scan for a screening program for lung cancer or even a basic chest x-ray should be done. So in case if you have any of these symptoms, you must come to us and the early detection of lung cancer helps us a lot. Now stage one and two can be diagnosed with the help of recent advancements in the medical technology. We have instruments like endobronchial ultrasound where the probe goes as far as the periphery of the lung and take biopsies from there and eventually diagnose the lung cancer at a very early stage which is being done at par with the US standards. Coming to the treatment of lung cancer, it is usually divided into the three, all three modalities of oncology that includes surgical treatment for early stage radiation for uh, uh, intermittent stage 3 patients mostly and for the advanced stage we have uh, treatment which includes immunotherapy, chemotherapy and targeted therapy. So during the treatment it is important that the patient and the family members they take care of the patient in that it includes a normal healthy diet, a regular follow up with the doctor and a timely treatment that means the patient whatever has been advised to the patient by the doctor the patient has to take the treatment regularly in order to have a best possible outcome. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.